Imagine a silvery ship drifting with the currents at the very heart of the ocean. At the dawn of the third millennium, Sea Orbiter announces a new generation of exploration vessels. To encourage aspirations and give rise to vocations for new generations. In order to sensitize and awaken our attitudes towards the oceans. Its mission? To explore the oceans still widely unknown in order to refine knowledge about marine ecosystems to better understand the influence of oceans on the climate, notably in the current context of global warming. Tomorrow, for the new Merian civilization, it will allow long-term stays for a large family of explorers, continuous day and night observation of the seemingly endless wealth of marine life forms, permanent and easy access to the undersea world, allowing perfect symbiosis with the aquatic universe. All these features make Sea Orbiter the first nomadic home wandering amidst the mightiest of gardens, the ocean. A true sentinel arising above the main oceanic streams, it will host an amazing human adventure where science, education and communication will play a key part just as they did in the great maritime explorations of the past century. On board this ship, and for the very first time in the world, a crew of 18 will be able, and over very long periods, to live under the sea 24 hours a day and continuously observe the underwater world. A veritable hive in which a number of devices can investigate the seas up to a depth of 6,000 meters. With one vessel drifting in each ocean and major seas, Sea Orbiter will set up a new standard of communication through a network of sentinels where scientists will, in real time, be able to enhance their monitoring throughout the Blue Planet. Towering at 51 meters in height, this true polyvalent experimental laboratory, exemplary in terms of sustainability, will allow testing of many innovative technologies, notably those linked to the use of renewable marine energies and will allow the opening of a new area of application in the field of marine molecules, whether for human sustenance or the pharmacopoeia of tomorrow. Fitted with a pressurized module, it can serve as a space simulator. Sea Orbiter will enable astronauts to test their ability to live in extreme environments and carry out experiments and tasks just as they would do in space. Equipped with multiple sensors and linked with satellites and a network of automatic buoys, it will allow the enhancement of scientific knowledge about the oceanic impact on the atmosphere and the planet's climate changes. All tests carried out at Marintech, Europe's largest simulation laboratory located in Norway, proved successful. The greatest storms could not affect sea orbiter's stability nor hinder its operations. Bearing the spirit of adventure which lives on in humanity, Sea Orbiter has been conceived to give a basis to a large educational plan concerning the oceans. Sea Orbiter, a multidisciplinary scientific vessel and a tremendous teaching and educational tool for sustainable development, will contribute to set up and develop a new relationship between man and the ocean allowing reinforcement of marine values and better commitment from the younger generations with regard to the planetary challenges of tomorrow this vessel supported by the Jacques Rougerie Foundation at the Institut de France will also enrich our knowledge and enlighten our hopes with the promise of new horizons because it is of the ocean that will be born the destiny of civilizations to come